Hey guys, welcome to the 40th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, Stream Writer class a little bit more. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is two buttons and a text box, just exactly what we had in the last tutorial. And you're also just going to need to have your Stream Writer open here and make sure it disposes of it. Now, the first thing that we're going to be looking at is writing a single byte. So we're just going to do sw.basestream.writeByte. And then inside of here, this, it calls for a byte value. So we're just going to need to give it a value that we want it to write. And remember, to represent hexadecimal in C-sharp, we're just going to put a 0x in front of it. And then we're just going to want to um, put what, byte, what value we want it to write. I'm just going to have it write 00. zero. So now we go here. It's going to debug, open our uh, text file right here, if we just look at our text file right here, the first byte is 03, so just remember that, now we click write, now if we want to go back here, it should say 00, yep, 00. Now if we wanted it to write these bytes at a different position, we're just going to do uh, sw.basestream.position and then just set it equal to a position. We'll just have it write um, the value ff, which is the maximum value for a byte, right here. And the offset is 2b. So we're just going to put 0x2b right there. And then we're going to have it write the maximum value, which is ff. So now, when we debug, click write. Now at the offset 2b, we should see the value ff. Yep, 2b, ff. So now we're going to take a look at writing multiple bytes. So in order to do that, we're just going to have to do the uh, write method. And right here it calls for a buffer, or a byte array. And th those will be the values that it's going to write. So we're just going to have to create a byte array here. I'll just call it buffer. And set it equal to some bytes. And we're going to have there be three bytes inside of our byte array. We're just going to make the first one um, I don't know, 0, 8, the next one, 0, 9, and the next one, 0, A. Because instead of going 8, 9, 10, it goes 8, 9, A, B, C, so on. So then, we're just going to um, have it write this buffer. Then it calls for the offset, which will be the element that it starts at in this um, byte array right here. We're just going to want to have it start at this one, so we're just going to put 0. And then we're going to want to um, have how many bytes you want it to write out of this byte array. But we're just going to have it write all of them. We're just going to have it write all three. And since we specified the value to the, or the position of our writer to be at 2b, the offset 2b, when we go right here, we should see the values 0, 8, right there, 0, 9, and then 0, a. It's written right along here. Because we have these three bytes right here we want it to write. So now, when we debug, open our text file, click write, should see right there, yep, 08, 09, 0A. And that's exactly what we specified right there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on um, using a stream writer class just a little bit more. Again, we're just looking at writing bytes. So see you guys.